Hi, this is a quick demo of, of how to add a drop down list box with search and single or multiple select options into your HTML form. So, first I will show you a demo of how this single choice and multiple choice drop down list box works with the search options. And then now let us see how it is implemented. So, let us open it. Let us open a drop down list box where I am choosing a single choice now. Open it, open it, and then you type something. Let's say I type Visual Basic, I type just basic, and it will automatically scrolls to Visual Basic, and I press Enter key, it selects the Visual Basic. So this is how a search option is implemented in the drop down list. Let's see the multiple choice now. So I select JavaScript, I select Visual Basic. So this is about programming choices. So I select two of them. So I can store their values. Of course, that is your uh, logic of storing it. But how to implement this? Let us see now. So I just go to the to my explorer or finder where I will give you the download link to this folder called HTML form drop down list with search and single or multiple select options. I will give you the download link for this folder. So just extract that zip file and inside it you will find the index.html. Right click it and open it with any of your favorite text editors. So many good cross platform editors exist like Kate, Genie, or Sublime Text. So you can use any one of them. They are all very good coding editors. Even Notepad++ is a good choice on Windows platform alone. But these are all existing in all operating systems, whatever I said now. So let me open it with Sublime Text. So you can see it, it's nicely color coded, all syntax is color coded in Sublime Text. Okay. So now these are all standard items which you would have seen in your HTML uh, document. Doc type HTML language, head, head section where character set and title is defined. But what is special about this drop down is these things. This link option, bootstrap minimum and select to minimum.css. Copy these lines fully and paste it in your head section, within your head section. And then inside the body section, you have this entire divider section starting. So just copy the entire section and uh, till the end before the body and HTML comes, just copy this entire thing within your body section and then edit, keep one of them. If you don't, if you want, you can keep the single choice or multiple choice. If you only want only one of them, so keep one of them alone. You have to clean up the uh, section. Let's say I don't, I don't want multiple choice. I will clean up this column md6, column md6 starts. So these are two sections. So I will clean up this up to the divider end. So you have to see where the divider is ending by, if you put in sublime text, it is nicely highlighting. You can see it, there is an underline there. So you can, uh, you can say that this is a starting divider and that's the ending divider. You have to delete it. Basically one, keep one of them only. So that's it. And uh, don't forget to copy till the script part which is working for doing our magic of it. So this you have to copy it within the body section. And that's it. So have fun. And uh, if you like my presentation, do press the like button and also comment, share and subscribe uh, to my channel. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.